Yo, what's going on guys, it's Anthony. And as you guys can tell by the title, we have a wide body kit for the Genesis. Come here. Can't show these yet. half falling apart box. I've already opened this and test fitted it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would already know. At St. Anthony on the screen. Oh boy. I didn't put it back away very nicely. So here we have a brand new kit that actually just came out probably four or five months ago. I uh, actually can't, it's Crotiv, I would say, I don't know, it's Fender Flares on Instagram. Uh, they just came out with it, but it's a ABS plastic kit. It's not like a traditional fiberglass kit that I think you'd normally see. At least I've always seen fiberglass kits for wide bodies. But this thing has to be 3D printed because when I test fitted it before, it's like a perfect match, but I want to mock it up. So if you're familiar with Genesis kits, I was going to go with the remake kit just because it's the one that most people run, but it was like one of my favorite because of how wide it is. This kit is a 70 millimeter rear flare and a 50 millimeter front flare, which is the same as the remake kit, except it's 10 millimeters wider even in the front. And this kit, but once I get it on, I'll point out, it looks like a Reminds me a lot about a rally backer V2 kit for the FRS. That's what it reminds me of. It's kind of the most aggressive body line kit I think they've made for the Genesis. Just finished taping it all up and here it is. The first thing that kind of sticks out to me on this kit is there's so many bolt holes. I mean, I've never had a wide body before, but I just feel like there's so many bolt holes for this kit. But other than that, like I kind of dig how it has the hard body lines. Cause like I said, most Genesis kits don't even offer that. They're all kind of more round and bubbly, but you never realize how thick it actually is until you get from the back view. Like look at that side by side. It's like a huge difference. But there's some weird body lines that it gives the car and I don't really agree with, but it's not terrible. Uh, it's definitely, it's gonna grow on me. I'm sure once I get wheels and everything put on, it'll look a lot different. But for right now, it's definitely probably one of my more favorite kits out for the Genesis. Original plan was to stay stock body, but times changed. I actually got a really good offer on this kit from them to be one of the first to have it. So I couldn't really turn them down. It was like a partial sponsorship offer. Let me know what you guys think about the kit also because i'm kind of curious what everyone's opinion is uh, i'll throw like, some example photos that they had posted and rendered up just i didn't really like the renders but in person it looks a lot better than i thought so if you guys aren't already make sure you guys subscribe because this is only starting in about three weeks i actually want to start getting the bags put on and really get started on this build so follow along it's going to be a good one i'm trying to be a little bit different than every other genesis you see on the internet now I'm going to document every single step by step. I said I was going to do that with the cruise and I failed. I rushed it and I didn't feel like recording, but this one I actually want to take my time and document it so I have something to look back on and I can share with you guys also. One thing I just noticed after staring at this, the kit's pretty well lined up with like all the body lines and everything, but there's still this gap and this is going to drive me nuts if this wasn't like the finished thing. But like if you pull it together, then you have a gap there and a gap there. I don't know why they didn't just make this one piece. I mean, they made everything else one piece. It drives me nuts that they wouldn't just make this. So I'll probably end up having to do some, some kind of panel bond or something. 
because I don't really know how ABS is, what sticks to it, what doesn't. So that will be fun. But yeah, that's going to drive me nuts if I leave that like that. Unless it does push together and then you base this off the skirts, which I don't think that's how it is. But like I said, I've never done a wide body. So I really don't know. But that's a no. It's all I know. All right, guys. So it's a few days later. Finally, have some nice weather in Ohio. And it started getting dark in the last part. So I waited a couple of days till I had time to keep it going. But we got new wheels for the Genesis. Um, but it came in not the best condition. So I'm taking them all apart. I'm sending the faces off to be coated or powder coated. Uh, face or the lips, my buddy's doing. And I'm going to try and just play around with the barrels. See what I can do. Try and learn for myself. Since no, you're not going to see them anyways. But we gotta take this apart. This is my first time ever messing with three piece wheels. So I really had no clue what I was doing. But I figured I'd give it a shot. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this hardware. I may end up just buying all new because they're kind of okay, getting a little closer. They're kind of all like chipped and stuff. The gold is. And I figure since I'm already going this far, I might as well just buy all new hardware and make them like 100%. Yeah, that's a this is the easiest way that I found to do this. This one's going to be a struggle. Not too bad. <laughs> Not going like the last three. So my buddy's coming later today. He's going to take those faces to his buddy, get them powder coated for me. And then my other buddy's refinishing the lips. So I would say about two weeks I can get them back together. And then now that I've kind of taken apart a set of wheels, I kind of want to take these apart so I can get down under here. These are probably like the worst, one of the worst wheels to clean because you can't really clean underneath of like these spokes. And they just like build up. Like you can almost fit a cloth all the way under there, but it doesn't go. And if you do, it just doesn't clean anything. I mean, they, they look pretty nasty right now, but it's okay. Got done editing this video and realized I did not record an outro. So I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. This build is going to be something crazy, okay? I got a lot planned that you guys don't even know about. But also, I have a second channel. Uh, it's gaming related. This one used to be my gaming channel, and I kind of converted it to like, my main channel, my car content. But it's down in the description. If you guys want to go check it out for me, that'd be awesome. I'd love it if you guys came and joined me over there. But you guys have a good night and stay positive. See you guys next time.